Hi everyone, this is the second video about solving simultaneous equations. In this video we're going to talk about elimination. If you haven't watched the first video already, make sure you do that first. We discuss two examples of solving via substitution. Okay, so let's look at elimination. If I have an equation such as 5n minus 3b equals 4 and 2n minus b equals 4. Okay, so in elimination, what we're doing is basically we're solving both the equations kind of at the same time, you can say. And like substitution, here too, we're going to solve for one variable first and then plug in that value for the other. So here, what you want to do is you want to focus on either m or b first. I'm going to go for b. So what you want to do is you want to get the same coefficient in front of b. Here we have a coefficient of 3. Here we have just 1. So in order to make this 1 a 3, what I want to do is I want to multiply this, this term by 3. But remember, what I do to one part of the equation, I must do to everything. So instead of multiplying just this one term by 3, I'm actually going to multiply the entire equation by 3. So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by 3. And when I do that, I get 3 times 2 is 6m minus 3b equals 4 times 3 is 12. So you have to multiply the right-hand side of the equation as well. Okay, so now we have both the b's where they equal the same coefficient. So what we can do now, okay, I'm just going to write the b part here. We have negative 3b and a negative 3b. And somehow we want to get this to equal 0. Okay, and in order to do this, I have to subtract that because when I have negative negative 3b, that becomes positive. And negative 3b plus 3b gives me 0. So I have to actually subtract negative 3b from negative 3b to get 0. And if I'm subtracting this term by this term, I have to subtract all the terms by their respective terms. So what I actually have end up doing is I'm subtracting the second equation from the first. And that gives me, I'm just going to write it here, 5n minus 6m, okay? That's negative m. And negative 3b, negative 3b, that's 0, so we don't have to worry about that equals 4 minus 12, which is negative 8. And now all I want to do is I want to get the value of m, so I'm dividing both sides by negative 1. And I'm left with m equals 8, because here, too, the negatives cancels out, cancel out. So I'm left with m equals 8. Now I want to substitute this value of m either into the first equation or the second so I can get the value of b. Now if I choose to go with the second equation, okay, so I'm going to get 2, sorry, 2 times m, which is 8, minus b, so that's what we're trying to solve for, I'm going to leave that there, equals 4. 8 times 2 is 16 minus b equals 4. Now I want to get b by itself on this side of the equation, so I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides of the equation. Okay, that cancels out, so I get negative b equals negative 12. Okay, and in order to get b by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And that leaves me with b equals 12. So the value we got for m is 8 and for b is 12. And I highly, highly recommend that you always plug these values back into the equation and check if what you got is correct. 
because sometimes you don't know you may have made a calculation error and it's always better to recheck your answer. So I'm just going to plug these values into the first equation here. So I have 5 times m, which is 8, minus 3 times 12, because b is 12. And if my answers are correct, I should get a value of 4. Okay, so whether I get that value or not is the question. So let's look at this. 8 times 5 is 40. Sorry, I think I should write this a little neater. 8 times 5 is 40 minus 12 times 3 is 36. And this does give me 4, so my answer is correct. Let's look at one more example here. If I have a fraction, if I have x over 3 minus x over 6 equals negative 2 over 3, and I have x over 12 minus y over 4 equals 3 over 2. Oh, I'm sorry, this should be a y. It's just an x, then there's no point in doing simultaneous equation because we have the same variables. Okay, so now you might be looking at this and you're like, what? How do I solve it? There's fractions. So we already know how to solve them if they have, if they're just linear equations, right? So what we want to try and do is we want to try and make this fractional linear equation. We want to try and make both these fractional equations to linear equations and to do that we have to multiply them by their least common multiple so the least common multiple of 3 and 6 is 6 and the least common multiple of 12 4 and 2 is 12 okay so if you don't know how to find how to find the lcm then you can pause this video, watch another video about that, and come back to this because if you don't know how to do that, then you're going to be a little lost. Okay? So once we find the LCM, now I'm just going to multiply each term by 6 here. So that will give me 6x over 3 minus 6y over 6 equals negative, and 6 times 2 is 12, so negative 12 over 3. And if I simplify this, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, so that just becomes 2x. And here the 6 cancels out, so that I'm just left with negative y. And here 3 4s are 12, so I'm left with negative 4. And if I rewrite this equation over here, I get 2x minus y equals negative 4. And we haven't changed the equation, we haven't done anything, we've just manipulated it. So from a fraction, it becomes, um, um, the coefficients become, fr from fraction, the coefficients become whole numbers, okay? And we do the same thing here. We multiply all the terms by 12, so that becomes 12x over 12 minus 12y over 4 equals 36 over 2. And when I do that, I'm left with, so the 12s cancel out, so I'm left with x minus 4 times 3 is 12. So 3y equals, and then 2 goes into 36, 18 times. So these are my two fraction, uh, these are my two equations here. I'm just going to write that there so it's easier to solve. Equals 18 and that's negative 4. Okay, that's negative 4. And again, now we can use elimination. And in order to do that, remember, you have to have, if you choose to solve for x, you need to have the coefficients be the same. If you choose to solve for y, the coefficients have to be the same. So here, if I go for x, because it is a little simpler, then I multiply all the terms by this equation by, 12, by 2, because I want to get the coefficient to be 2x here. So this will give me 
2x minus 3 twos are 6y and 18 times 2 is 36. Okay, so now we can use elimination. And if I do that, I am left with 2x and 2x. And here I have to get 0, remember? Like here, we wanted to get, we subtracted negative 3b from negative 3b to get 0. So here we have to make 2x and 2x equals 0. And in order to do that, we're going to subtract again. So if I subtract those, those just cancel out. Negative y minus negative 6y. You can write this down here. Negative y minus negative 6y gives me negative y plus 6y, and that just leaves me with 5y. Equals, again, you have to subtract negative 4 minus 36, which gives me negative 40. So y equals negative 40 divided by 5. So I'm dividing both sides of the equation by 5. And y gives me negative 8. Okay? So with this value of y, I have to plug that back into either equation, this or that. I'm just going to go for the first one. So here I have x over 3 minus my y is negative 8 over 6. And if that value, with that value, I have to get negative 2 over 3. So x over 3 plus 8 over 6 equals negative 2 over 3 x over 3 equals negative 2 over 3 minus 8 over 6. And here again, you need the LCM of 3 and 6, which is 6. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 2 because I want the denominator to be equal to 6. And 3 times 2 gives me 6. And what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So here I get x over 3 equals negative 4 minus 8 over 6. So x over 3 equals negative 12 over 6. And this is just negative 2. So x over 3 equals negative 2. And x equals, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the 3 from the denominator. And that gives me negative 6. Okay, so the values here are y equals negative 8 and x equals negative 6. And again, it's highly, highly, highly recommended that you substitute them back into the other equation just to check your answer. So I'm just going to do that really quickly over here. So with this equation, I have negative 6 over 12 minus negative 8 over 4. And if my answers are correct, I should get 3 over 2. So this is negative 1 over 2, and that's plus 8 over 4, four sorry. And the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4, so I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2, because what I do to the numerator, uh, denominator, I must do to the numerator. And that gives me negative 2 plus 8 over 4 which is 6 over 4, which if I simplify, I get 3 over 2. And that is the correct answer. So our values are correct. Thank you.